So, is this a dick move? Yes. The Vancouver Canucks are going to name a captain this season. It says, we're going to name a captain this season. It's a special moment. This is from Travis Green, their head coach. Something it's their 50th our, season. Yeah, something our fans should be able to witness firsthand. We'll make the announcement Wednesday at our home opener. So tonight we'll also know about the Vancouver Canucks captains. Oh, they included a picture of several Canucks captains. Naslin, Linden, Sedin. Not Roberto Luongo. So Roberto Luongo retweeted it oh. and photoshopped himself into it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's really funny. But isn't that kind of shitty as well? No. Wasn't he captain for like less than half a season? Two years. He was... No, he wasn't. 08 to 2010. Actually? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. That's sort of shitty. Yeah, but... Mm, wait, what years? 2008 to 2010. Wow. Mm. Dude, they were a great team. They were a great team, but they got better once he was not captain anymore. Was it just an error by an, uh, somebody well, they also uh, like an intern? Mark Messier. <laughs> oh, well, but but that's smart. Could be an error. Um, Is there? I can't imagine it's here's because here's the thing. I'm going to go through Canucks captains in history. They don't exactly have a plethora of great names to pick from. The first one was Orlin Kurtenbach yeah. from '70 to '74. The Curtain Blog. <laughs> Andre Bordre from 75 to 76. Chris Odolfson, 76 to 77. Don Lever, 77 to 79. Kevin McCarthy, 79 to 82. A lot of turnover. Stan Smeal, 82 yeah. to 90. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it was Dan Quinn, Doug Lidster, and, and Trevor Linden in 90, uh, 1990 and 1991. They were tri-captains. And then Linden from 91 to 97. Messier from 97 to 2000. Naslin, 2008. Messi was three years, huh? Roberto Luongo. Yeah, he was. Roberto Luongo, 2008 to 2010, and Henrik Sedin for eight years after that. I'd say they're on a good little run. They're on a good little Messier. run now. The, but you can't include Roberto yeah, Luongo? Yeah, why did they do that? I guess they cut off. I don't know. I don't I don't think it's that huge of a deal. He was captain for two years. Most people don't seem to view it as that He's great of an idea. He's the best goalie in franchise history. Could have included him. But maybe you only wanted five, so you could have a guy in the middle. I don't know. What? <laughs> why are you? Why are you making You're, excuses? You're this is so it. weird. I, I'm not defending it. I just don't care. I don't think it's that big of a deal. He was captain for two years. Two years. No, but they did a thing about the captains of the team. Yeah, and they just so arbitrarily who, who the left him out. Who are the captains in the photo? Uh, it's well, a couple of them I don't recognize, to be honest with you, because I so don't know. There's a particularly there's older gentleman there. who I assume is like the first. Hey, yeah. Okay, so who we got? Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't notice the. I don't Sid recognize the two guys. Naslin, Sedin, Linden are the only ones I recognize. Yeah, yeah, like those guys were captains for a long time through a lot of success. Yeah, but the guy with the V jersey on probably was it, unless that's the guy from the '80s. <laughs> yeah, but then you're unless going that's with Stan nostalgia. Smell. Then you're going with nostalgia, though. I don't know. I, I'm having a hard time getting worked up about this, and I get worked up you about a lot. You don't include Roberto. Come what is on. Happening? That's shitty. Steve. I don't you, care. You I, I don't care what anyone says. That's, you could. That's totally shit. Leaving out Mark Messier is funny. Well, yeah, you yeah. want to, though. That was crappy. See, that's the, an interesting the, one. That, so, that was a Messier's bad... relationship with the Vancouver Canucks <laughs> is always fascinating to me because how many teams have a guy who was captain for multiple years mm -hmm. who the fan base seems to universally hate? Like, is there a Leaf captain who, like, was you the just way can't he use in anything? He was the, uh, that you can't, Dion Phaneuf. Oh, there's one. Yeah. So Mark Messi is their Dion Phaneuf. Yeah, but in a worse way, because Trevor Linden was beloved, and they signed Messier, and it was sort of like, oh, no, not, now I'm going to be captain, and he's leaving. That's how it went. Like, um... if you go back and read articles from the time, and, and you read about the situation, Messier pushed Linden out. And the organization was like, well, we need Messi, not Linda. See, I, don't, I guess I just don't know the context. They turned on their guy. Interesting. And was Messi okay. the better player? Probably. But Linden was Vancouver's mm, guy. Probably not by then. Maybe not by then. Maybe not by I then. I remember, do you remember, was it Nagano? Yeah, he didn't go to Mon Nagano. He wasn't in Nagano. And I remember, I remember waking up and watching the highlights. And when they announced the team, he was like crying on the bench. You know who made that team? Rob Zaminer. Wow. Remember Rob Zaminer? The Examiner. The ex He wasn't, but it oh should have been. God. Yeah, Rob Zaminer did. There was a few weird ones on that team. Mm -hmm. And Ray Bork took a penalty shot. They lost. Go figure. <laughs>